right? It operates with a lot of technologies, but RFID is popular, of course. It occurs to me right now, some people might think this is ad. This ain't an ad. Whoever this company is, I don't even know. Them. Go ahead. Exactly. So if you have a card, sure enough, you can get in, not fumble around with your keys. But if a nefarious person steals your card and it's like, oh my God, my, my card is gone and my house is locked, how can I get in? You smash a window. Well, chimney. Oh, in the chimney. Yeah. You could do the Santa Claus attack. <laughs> Santa Claus yes. attack. Yeah. It's, he's yeah. the ultimate penetration tester. Yeah. Santa well, Claus. what I might just do is say, well, even without my card on me, I can just kind of try that. Ooves. No, you just gotta, you just gotta give the lock a high five. It likes me. All right, Builder Beans, I'm too excited about this. It is ESP. <laughs> no, so if you, uh, if you rub your, rub your hand across my, uh, my fingers right here. Oh, uh, yeah, no, you have a thing in your body. In between the first and second metacarpal uh, of each of my, my hands, uh, subdermally implanted. This guy with his multi-syllable words. Yeah. Oh, oh. that's so weird. <laughs> that yeah. sound you're making is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to people making sounds like that around me. That is just a smaller version of this. You're a cyborg. Basically, yes. He's more man than machine by a lot, but eventually will be more machine than man. Yeah. And I assume you update it using the same gizmo that you would use to update one of these. You can. We do. And does, does it hurt? I don't get hurt by most things that people kind of scratch their head at when I try it. So it didn't hurt me. But I mean, your mileage may vary. That's a yes. <laughs> Are you worried about that becoming out of date like a lot of technology? And then how bad is it to remove it? You can remove it. I mean, what goes in you can come out of you just with blades and effort. I just realized I didn't see any scar. Let me, let me see it. Yeah, so that heals up pretty good. It's pretty invisible. And this one You have is, two. Yes, I have one in this hand. Why two? What's the, oh, you program, they're different keys. You yes. program one and for one work and one is low frequency, one, one is high frequency. What is the difference between low frequency and high frequency? They're different credential technologies. Low frequency is much older, like your 125 kilohertz kind of uh, low frequency card. The high frequency card is what all modern systems are using. If you have NFC on your phone or if you have tap to pay, that's all modern 1356 megahertz. Well, it looks like a small version of this. Oh, there we go. The dramatic reveal. Oh. It's so tiny. Can I put it up my nose total recall style? Yes. If we were to make a list of things that you could do, you that would, that would be, be on, on the list. list. I don't know if I would recommend it. Uh, is it okay for me to open it? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that particular chip inside there is a uh, MyFair style chip. And what and does that mean? Technically, it's not even a real MyFair chip. It's a clone, which allows you to manipulate some of the data on there so you can clone hotel key cards. Uh, but basically, if you inject that into your hand, then at most hotel properties, we would be able to clone your room key to your hand. So then even after you have like a really long and involved evening and you lose your credential, you can still come back to your room, kind of slap your hand against the door yeah. and have it open. Could you theoretically program it using the hotel's equipment? Like when they program a key, could you, you could. just put your hand you on could. there? You could. Uh, but, that might look weird, reaching <laughs> over the counter and just kind of like being like, "Hey, man, uh, don't <laughs> sorry, sorry me. Did you get a pen or something." Click enter. Uh, but we actually use the Proxmark, the mm -hmm. same tool we used last episode to clone hotel keys onto those. So, what do you say when people are worried about this thing tracking you? Oh my God, so many comments about this. Um, no concerns whatsoever. First of all, as we've seen with with most RFID, the range is super tiny. Like there was a James Bond film where something that size was in his arm and they were like tracking him from space. Like that's not real. You have to be really close. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I do have a concern though, because it looks like this is made of glass. What, what happens if it shatters? It's a there? special glass. It's hardened uh, in a way that makes it very resistant to cracking and impact damage. So while it is still technically glass and if with enough force, yes, you can crush it. The reality is that once it's installed, installed properly, um, it's actually very resilient and very, very safe unless like you yeah, hit your we, hand with a hammer. We directly. know people who are mixed martial artists that have them. I mean, I, as anyone knows me, I do a lot of lead acceleration. So my hands are subject to tons of recoil impulse all the time. It took me a second to figure out what lead acceleration was. For, for what it's worth within the community, we've been using these for a few years now, about three to four years. And to date, I have not heard of an instance yeah. where someone had one of these implants crack inside their body. Um, now again, anything is possible, but I just want to yeah. highlight that it's 
in my opinion, fairly unlikely. You mentioned a community. How many people that we know of have these implanted? Well, in excess of 10 people. Yeah. No, hundreds. hundreds. Every DEF CON, yeah. there's usually a free table where people can come up and they'll buy the chip, but the service of implant is, is donation-based, if anything, and hundreds every Many DEF hundreds. Con. Many if hundreds. If not, we're, we're well into over a thousand by mm -hmm. now, I would imagine. So all, I imagine. All willingly. Yeah. Right. As far as I know. Most okay. of them. Most of them are willing. Okay. And I, I wait till he's asleep and then I reprogram the chip. <laughs> okay. I'm good. Yep. <laughs> Ready to rock. Keep your hand relaxed. Mm -hmm. Yep. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well, that's an unusual sensation. What does it feel like? It doesn't hurt. There was a little pop. It's a weird feeling. It, and it's over? It's done. <laughs> it's done? That's it, that's it. I'm a robot now. Oh my god, the modern rogue is now officially part cyborg. I'm a modern cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> now, when there's the robot uprising, they'll spare me. <laughs> yeah. Your ass is grass, Brushwood. Mm -hmm. You're like, no, Should we're I friends, I swear, I swear. <laughs> Oh my God, dude, that's awesome, Jason. That was great. nicely done. You are a beast. This guy was amazing. Yeah, we should introduce Cooper. Cooper, Cooper. thank you so much for this. This didn't hurt at all. You made it really simple. It was weird, and now I'm weird, which is awesome.